Okay, so here we are over at the controller and it's very simple to operate. You just go down to, the first thing you need to do is you go to uh, this uh, status bar right here. This guy right here navigates your way through all the different menus. So you hit that one time and it brings up a series of choices. So you wanna scroll over to the autofocus like that. And you open up the machine, set the point where you wanna autofocus onto the material itself and then hit the enter button and the laser will go down and it will automatically focus onto the material you're getting ready to send the image to. So you don't have to do any measuring, it, the machine does it all for itself. Then you just come back to the escape button and that will send the machine back to the home position which is in the top right corner, no different than where it was on the software. So from there, we go to the file menu and we load the file. The last one you sent is gonna be the first one in the list. We hit enter and it brings up a preview and we hit enter again. It double checks that that's the only layer that we're gonna burn and then it sends it over to the head itself. So now we're ready to go. So in order to make sure that we haven't made any mistakes, we can do what's called a framing function. So you touch the frame button over here on the console. And again, all this is in the very simple directions and there's videos for it on YouTube also and, and at Boss Laser. So you just hit the frame button and what the machine will do is it'll come down and it'll actually trace out the area where the image is going to be. And you can scroll through it to make sure the machine is free to cut. And then you just close the window and you have to have the chiller turned on in order for the machine to run because the tube gets very hot. And then I turn on the included compressor, which keeps, it keeps air running across the head so it's not any kind of a fire hazard. And then last but not least, we plug in the pump which takes away any odor and would allow you to run the machine inside. So from there, I just hit the start pause button, which is right here on the console, and the machine starts. So you can see the laser is burning. So once it's completely done, I will show you what the finished product looks like.